You reap what you sow, and everything that is happening to Rhea Ripley, she kind of deserves. And, well, Damien Priest does too. Judgment Day is no more. At least that version of Judgment Day with the Terror Twins involved. But there was another Judgment Day that was no more also because of those two. They have left a path of personal and emotional trauma throughout the WWE and even though I am a huge Rhea Ripley fan and even though I have recently become a Damian Priest fan, they deserve what they've got and what they're going through. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to lay it out for you. And before we go any further, don't forget, you can win this or those belts. All you got to do is comment below. I hit 10,000 subscribers. I will contact you. I will give a belt away. Let's get on with the fallout of Judgment Day. So like I was saying, back in 2002, guess what? Rhea and Liv Morgan... They were best of friends. They were even a tag team together. And they teamed up many, many times. And guess what happened? Rhea Ripley betrayed Liv Morgan. She attacked her out of nowhere. You know why? Because they were losing a bunch of matches. And she blamed Liv Morgan. So Rhea dissolved her friendship, attacked her best pal, because they were not winning. Rhea gets the better, and then she joins Judgment Day. Now, that feud is pretty much on ice. Rhea won, Liv moved on with her life, even though she was the one betrayed. So then Rhea goes, and she wins the Royal Rumble. The final two people, Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley wins. Now, this one, hey, you know what? Rhea won fair and square within the confines of Royal Rumble, but I can see why it would still kind of sting from Liv Morgan. Here, you got your old best friend friend who beat you up, who betrayed you, and now beats you at the Royal Rumble. It would have been a good little measure of revenge, but regardless, she didn't get it. Then Rhea Ripley goes on to WrestleMania 39 and wins the title from Charlotte Flair. So now, this is when Liv goes and gets a tag team partner in Raquel Rodriguez, and they win the tag team titles. Funny how Liv Morgan can win the tag team titles with Raquel, but not Rhea, but Rhea blames Liv. Hmm, maybe, maybe Rhea was the weak link because, hey, you know what? You can be a powerful single star, but maybe you're not a team player in a tag team. But regardless, that's just a commentary. And Raquel gets a title shot against Rhea. So you know what Rhea does? In the middle of an interview that Liv Morgan is a part of, it's Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, in an interview, Rhea Ripley just comes out of nowhere, says a couple things, headbutts Liv Morgan, and then proceeds to completely attack and annihilate the knee of Raquel Rodriguez, writing her out of the storyline. And then they lose the title. Liv Morgan and Raquel lose their tag team title because, well, Raquel's injured because of Rhea Ripley. And so, justifiably, Liv Morgan is mad at Rhea again. I would be upset too. So then Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley, they have beef again, and guess what happens? Rhea Ripley completely destroys Liv Morgan and puts her on the shelf for seven months. And do you think that maybe you'd be a little upset about that? Do you think that maybe you would want some revenge if all that happened to you? This was everything, everything that happened was Rhea Ripley. 100% she was the aggressor in this entire drama until Liv Morgan came back. Okay, so let's just... Let's just remember that. What about Dominic Mysterio? You're like, oh, boo, Dominic, boo, Dominic. Well, he wasn't always booed. In fact, he was a white meat baby face until Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley came in, sunk her teeth into Dominic Mysterio and totally turned that guy's life upside down. Now, from a storyline character perspective, Greatest thing that ever happened to Dominic. Dominic Mysterio, the prison heart in Dominic Mysterio, so great, so funny. But in storyline, though, here we've got this third generation star, a rookie at the very least. He is Ray Mysterio's son, and Dominic is doing, you know, he's doing okay. He became tag team champions with his dad, living his dream with his father. And what does Rhea do? Well, her and Judgment Day as a whole, they're like, we want you in Judgment Day. And they abuse the guy for weeks, literally physically abusing him until he decides to join Judgment Day. And Rhea then proceeds to brainwash him into hating his dad. 
all of a sudden, Dominic Mysterio is saying how his dad's a deadbeat and all of these things. And it's like, okay, well, you know, it's he said versus he said. Maybe, maybe Dominic is telling the truth. But I think we all know deep inside that he is not. And Rey Mysterio is probably a decent chap. But not, not with Dominic Mysterio. He's trusting the woman who beat him up for weeks. Literally dragging his body onto the ramp, dumping him, just so they can laugh at Rey Mysterio. I don't think that is a healthy way to start a relationship. Again, I love Rhea. She is amazing. But let's call a spade a spade. She's the villain of this story. She is straight up the villain. She's done horrible things. Dominic and Ray were just fine before she got involved. Before they got involved. The Judgment Day. It is crazy what she did to him for his career. Great. On a personal level, not so great. At Thanksgiving, Rhea and Dominic went to the Mysterio household just to get into a fight with Rey Mysterio. And Rhea laughed the whole time. She has been laughing and laughing at the misery of the Mysterio family since she started abusing Dom. All right, so let's just get that out there. Now, I am not saying that Rhea is beyond redemption, but I am saying that they that she needs to acknowledge this. And so does Damian Priest, because Damian Priest can be like, Finn Balor, I thought we were brothers. Well, guess who thought you were like a son to him? Probably Edge, because you and Rhea literally set the precedence of how to oust a member of Judgment Day and take over Judgment Day when after, what, two or three months, Edge, this veteran who saw something in you, said, let's start a group and change how things are. And then what did they do? They brought in Finn Balor and they attacked Edge and kicked him out of the Judgment Day. And that is on you, Damian Priest. You led by example on what Finn should do when he has a problem with the leader. So both Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest, I'm being for real here, they are gonna be great baby faces. However, they need to acknowledge their past. Rhea should even come out and just straight up apologize to Rey. I don't wanna ruin her aura because I don't want bad guys who turn face to suddenly be like white meat baby faces. But at the same time, she did so many things wrong that it has to be acknowledged so we can forgive and move on. Because if you really put it in perspective, Liv Morgan's the good guy here. She has done nothing really wrong within the confines of professional wrestling. Randy Orton was injured by the bloodline. He came back and wanted revenge. That's all Liv Morgan is doing. She was injured by Judgment Day's Rhea Ripley. She came back and wanted revenge, and she freed somebody who had been brainwashed into absolutely hating their family? How is she the bad guy in this? No, Rhea needs to come out one day and just say, hey, listen, I made some bad choices, and I am reaping what I sowed. However, I take responsibility for my choices. At the end of the day, eventually, whether you're justified or not, you are responsible for your actions. So at this point, Liv Morgan can stop doing what she's doing and become, just say, okay, we're done, we're good, revenge, over. Or she will go on the path and start being the bad guy of the storyline. But Rhea needs to atone for her sins, just like Morgan needs to stop now, which we know she won't, and we know none of them will, and that's fine. But I'm just saying, within the confines of the story, to make Rhea Ripley the, the pure baby face that she can be and get to that next level. Same with Damien, same with Damien. All they gotta do is address their past, not cry about it, but acknowledge it, make a statement of regret, and say they wish they had done things different, but here we are, moving forward, and boom, then all the loose ends are tied up. So no question, in this story right now, Liv is justified, Dom was a victim, and Rhea was the aggressor, the antagonist, and so was Damian Priest for the most part. But hey, he was the leader. He allowed it all to happen. He probably even planned it to happen with her. But let's move on. Just acknowledge it and go forward. Guys, what did you think? Who's at fault here? Is it Rhea? Is it Dominic? Is it Ray? Is it Finn? Is it Priest? Is it Liv? Who's at fault in all of this and what needs to be done? Put a comment below so you can win one of those belts. Guys, girls, have a great day.